Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's only me again, and thank you very much for tuning in for another round of metal detecting. So today promises to be really, really good. We have come back into a field that I've done before, and you might remember on my channel a couple of videos ago that I went into a big ploughed field that had just been seeded and rolled, and on that field I found three amazing hammered coins and also part of a very early medieval crucifix. I've been dying to get back in that field and today we are actually back in there. So the crop that the uh, farmer had planted has just been cut down, but at the same time he also drilled in some grass seeds and that's what you can see behind me now. We've got very limited time to be able to do this field properly and that's why I've enlisted the help of Mr Tweed today and we've also got Brian as well. So hopefully between all three of us, we might get some really good finds to show you and hopefully we can also replicate the luck that I had the last time I was in here. But that leaves me to say, thank you all very much for watching the videos. I do hope you enjoy them. And of course, if you wanna be notified every time I upload a new one, then just hit that subscribe button below. And of course, if you want to support the channel, help me out, drop me a thumbs up as well. But that's the talking out of the way. We're gonna get loads of digging to done today and I will see you all on the very first hole. So we've got our very first target today and believe it or not it's probably about six meters from where I recorded the intro and put my bag down. So it's coming in at around 86 to 87. It is a little bit broken so I'm not expecting too much but let's give this one a go shall we? Okay, typically that first target was a little bit too good to be true, wasn't it? Because we've just gone and found a squashed tin can. Okay, have a little listen to this one down here. Now, sounds like quite a nice target, doesn't it? And it certainly stopped me in my tracks. The VDI is kind of going between 86, 85, and then it sort of drops down to 50 really quickly and then goes back up to 80s again. But there is a reason why you don't want to dig this one. And if you turn to an axis, you listen to how broken that becomes. It's an entirely different signal. And if we move around again, it almost disappears. It's that broken. So these are the types of targets that, although sound good, you definitely don't want to be digging with the DS2 because that is the machine basically saying that what's in here is going to be a piece of scrap aluminium or tin foil or something like that. So I'm not even going to bother digging this one to prove it to you, but trust me, this type of target stay well clear of. Okay, so this is nothing worthy of the uh, British Museum collection, but I have just gone and found a little round 
nugget of lead. But what's quite interesting about this little round nugget of lead is it's got these kind of dots, this spiral effect on it here. Don't know if you can kind of see that on the camera there, but yeah, it's quite an interesting piece of lead. Somebody has most certainly put a lot of thought and effort into this and wanted to make it like that, but I have no idea why they would have done that or what this would have been used for. So if anybody out there can hazard a guess as to why they would have made this piece of lead like that, then please do use the comment section below. But it's quite an interesting little find, isn't it? So we've got a really nice target down here and it's a nice consistent VDI number. Sounds really good, looks really good. These are the kind of things we're looking for. But of course, we don't know what it is until we dig it out. So let's do that now and hopefully we get something decent. Okay, so whatever it is, it has come out of the ground, but quite worryingly, there is a ginormous piece of coke here, but luckily that wasn't it. However, it was in the same hole as whatever we've got. So let's just see if we can find what we've got. Okay, so, Whatever it is we've just found is in this huge clump here. So let's just pick it apart and have a quick look. So it definitely looks copper alloy, doesn't it? But uh, just trying to scrape a little bit of this mud off of it just to see if we can get anything from it. Because I, at the moment, have absolutely no idea what this is, but it was an absolutely booming target and it was definitely worth digging because I don't think it was junk but it very well could just be a piece of modern something maybe a bit of farm machinery something like that I'm not overly too sure at this stage but it might be worth me giving this a quick squirt of water seeing if we can get anything from it and I will keep you posted Okay, so I've given it a quick squirt of water, a light brush, and yeah, I can't get any detail off of this one. But it is a really interesting find, mainly because it is made of solid bronze. So it's really, really heavy, really, really chunky, and whatever it was, obviously, has broken off here. So does anyone watching recognise what this might be? Have they got any suggestions, any clues? It could be something significant bearing in mind where we are but of course it could just be a piece of junk as well but there we are guys there's that one let's push on see what else comes out so i just had this completely booming target down here and um, i dug it out the camera was quite far away unfortunately so i couldn't actually kind of film me digging this one out without running all the way down there and getting the camera and i pulled it out and this came out it was obviously a little bit more muddy and I gave it a bit of a clean and it's a piece of lead which I can't see any join so it looks like it very well could have been possibly round or circular at some point but also may not have been it could have been formed in this shape and as I cleaned it off in true Howard Carter style these letters just started to jump out at me and I think they say SVD. And I have never found a piece of lead this chunky with these possibly initials on. I'm not actually too sure. But how cool is that for a, for a find, especially for a lead find? Now, unfortunately, 
I have nicked this with the spade and I did feel the spade go into it as well, which I'm a little bit annoyed about because, you know, if this turns out to be something of any historical importance, yeah, I get that it's obviously got lots of nicks and stuff on it anyway, but it now has a big fresh one on there from my spade. So I really don't like uh, getting things with the spade at all. But unfortunately, I've got to live with this one. But it is a really, really cool lead find SVD. I doubt very much whether or not I'll ever be able to kind of date that or figure out what that actually means. But in terms of historical importance, that is something that's really, really interesting. It's probably got a really interesting backstory to it. And I am absolutely so happy to find it. So we've just gone and found a coin and this was pretty much a surface find. It was literally just kind of lying just below, um, I'd say the first inch of soil. So it's nice to know that we've um, missed things. Equally, it's a little disappointing that we missed it in the first place, but um, hey, at least it makes this trip a bit more exciting. I'm just trying to give it a bit of a clean now just to see if I can see any detail on there, but it is a copper alloy coin. It's about the size of a one penny piece, something like that. And uh, there's not a lot of detail on it, if I'm honest with you. It could be any age, it could be any denomination, to be fair. Uh, it is quite a thin one, but I'm going to hazard a guess and say this is probably a George II, something like that, just by the kind of patina on there and the size of it and uh, how thin it is. But we aren't going to get much more detail from that one, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to move on. nice little target here it's jumping around a little bit but it is coming in at around the sort of mid to late 80s fairly consistent from pretty much most angles and I definitely think this one's a digger so uh, let's see what we've got hopefully it's not a load of junk Just had something really interesting poke out on this target guys now it did take me a little while to find it it was actually surprisingly deep um, everything else i've been finding in this field has probably been within the first few inches i mean obviously it's a plowed field isn't it but the grass has only just started to grow so it, you know looking on the camera you'd probably think that this was a pasture field but actually this ground really has only just been plowed but yeah this one looks surprisingly interesting um, I think we should take a closer look and see what we're uh, dealing with. Okay, so it's come out, oddly, in this sort of coin ball type thing, but obviously it's on the edge of the coin ball, so it's quite a big target, whatever it is. And have a look at that. So, I think this is a badge of some kind. 
and you can actually see the bit at the top here um, where it possibly fastened to the uniform or maybe even the cap or something like that and yeah it's likely to be a regimental badge although I must admit it does look a little bit like a an old sort of police force badge as well but that's pretty cool okay we've given it a squirt of water and it's come up really nicely really nicely indeed so the first thing I noticed when I squirted it with water is there is this um, anchor design in the middle here now that says to me that this is most certainly some type of regimental badge possibly from the Navy but I'm not 100% sure. It's got quite an identifiable symbol on it, but I am really not very good with military stuff, so I honestly do not have a clue. This could be absolutely anything as far as I'm concerned. However, I will certainly dedicate a bit of time to see if I can actually identify this and find out kind of how old it is and maybe where it came from, because it's such a lovely piece, isn't it? I mean, it's really decorative. You can imagine this and how shiny it would have been on somebody's uniform and obviously yeah it just got lost in the field and we came along years later picked it up squirted it with some water and talked about it in front of a camera how cool is this hobby okay so we've been detecting for probably quite a few hours now and we weren't getting too much out of this field. I did say when the uh, video began that we are really just kind of picking up the dregs and the bits and bobs that people have missed and I really wasn't expecting an awful lot. However, I've had a really, really nice signal down here and it's after lunch now. This came through an absolutely booming 98 to 99 on the VDI and I've just dug it out now and I think we've gone and found a lovely big silver coin. So let's take a closer look and see what we've got. Okay guys, so this is as it came out of the ground, completely covered in mud on one side, and then I flipped it over and I saw this lovely silver coming through here. So I'm pretty sure that this is gonna turn out to be a milled coin just because of the edge. You can just see that nice beveled edge on the side there. Very stereotypical of a, of a milled coin, but let's give it a little scrub off and see what we can get from it. Is it going to be an old one or is it going to be a new one? It's certainly a very interesting looking one, that's for sure. Now Brian's detected these fields before and he's found loads and loads of coins in here that aren't even English coins. So it would be really interesting if this coin turned out to be, you know, possibly a foreign milled coin or something like that but I'm trying not to scrape it too hard. You know that there's tiny little stones in these mud and uh, yeah, we don't want to damage it any more than it has. The ground and the plow has been doing that for us for several, several years now. And, oh wow, is that a bull head? I'm not actually too sure. So there's three eyes, there's three eyes here um just to the side here i think that says georgius which would possibly make this a george the third either crown or half crown which is incredible because i have never ever found one of these and i don't know many people that have especially a george the third as well really nice portrait on there really nice Let's just see if we can clean it up here where it says the name. Uh, yeah, that definitely says Georgius. So that is most certainly, guys, an absolutely stunning solid silver George III. And I'm pretty sure on this side it's going to say Crown. Yeah, but this is honestly an absolutely lovely find. It's not a Hamid coin, but it's as close to a Hamid coin as you're going to get in the milled range. And this is probably about 300 years old this piece of silver and everybody that's come into this field and has detected it has missed it um, I mean even I've been over this patch before and I've missed it so I'm really chuffed with that that is definitely my find of the day so far 
and I will obviously get a nice picture of it, put it on the video for you and uh, let you know a little bit more about it. So there's a really sweet target here for sure and uh, I'm quite pleased to hear it as well because to be honest this field has really started to uh, dry up a little bit. Um, I think if I hadn't found that uh, George III coin then I probably would have um, tried one of the other fields by now but uh, I've persisted on so you never know this could be a good target but let's give it a dig see what we've got. So it's coming up at about 79 on the VDI and that could uh, cover quite a range of finds really and now it's come out of the ground it definitely doesn't sound as good so it's very likely this is going to be not something particularly good but of course until we try we aren't going to know so hopefully it's going to be something good but we've got to find it first so let's just get the pinpointer and uh, make it a bit easy for ourselves. Okay, so it's saying it's still in the, the top bit. Oh. Okay, so I can see it. Can you see it in here? So the thing hiding in and amongst that grass and the mud was a quite a sweet little little buckle. It's quite a nice buckle too. Looks like it's made of pewter. Um, it's got a part of the central pin intact there, and it's obviously a little little sort of uh, double looped buckle, isn't it? Maybe 1500s into the late 1600s, but. Um, yeah, I'm pretty glad I dug that, to be honest, and what a great signal it was. So there we are, it's always worth persisting on, isn't it? Okay, so I've come into the field that Mr Tweed has been doing all afternoon since lunch. Um, haven't seen him at all, he's just been in here, so what have you found, Mr Hammered Sniffer? Anything good? No hammers, nothing amazing, but lots and lots and lots of signals wow. as you can see um huge handful of bits <laughs> yeah. and bobs there isn't oh, that's it? not all of it this is just all the stuff that i wouldn't classify as absolute junk i love so, that buckle yeah a few buckles what did you say that is like 1600 1700s yeah, early 1700s yeah i mean i would have said initially that that was possibly a shoe buckle but it's got these ridges here so um, it would have been really uncomfortable if they were going to wear it on a shoe because the bar would have gone along the bottom. Yeah, that So it's very sense. possibly um, a belt buckle, that. Uh, but yeah. you can see that it has been silvered. Yeah, and it would have had a lot stage. of decoration, I imagine, once upon a time before the ground ate it up. Yeah, yeah, but it might be worth giving that a bit of a soak for a, a week or so um, in distilled water because you might get a little bit of the relief come through. Yeah. I'll try that, yeah. And I'll, I quite like that. I'll That's let you nice. know if I find anything on it. What else have you had? <laughs> um, well, quite a few sort of Victorian and Georgian pennies. I've had an Elizabeth II shilling. Oh, yeah. Um, I've had this, made a lead. I'm quite, you know, not quite sure what it is. The only thing I thought it could be at first was something you used to, uh, well, like, like sort of stamp um, letters and numbers onto, onto metal like, like we have modern day things but obviously it's it's lead so I don't imagine you'd want to stamp that onto uh, anything other than wax. Sometimes as well they made um, like lead ingots like this and they would be relatively long and they would be able to chop bits off melt it down and then make quick fixes out of them. Oh yeah that's nice easy nice easy way to do it. So it? yeah it could it could just be part of an old lead ingot that they've actually chopped off but they never got around to using um, or they dropped it in the long grass and, yeah. and never ever found it again. Yeah, fab. Uh, that could be, yeah, could be that, couldn't it? And then there's this, which I imagine is probably some sort of handle. It's got um, yeah. a bit of decoration on it, but again, it's yeah, pretty hard to tell, really. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's difficult with this, isn't it? Because you could, it almost looks like a modern drawer handle, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. But obviously it's been in the ground for quite some time, so... Um, it maybe is the sort of equivalent in antiquity of a, of a drawer handle or yeah. something like that. 
um, but that's that's really cool. Yeah, and then another little buckle fragment again. It's probably same sort of age as, as this one. Yeah, um, really nice. And then there's this stonking great thing, which almost blew my ears off. <laughs> yeah, wow, that is one huge, huge chunk of lead for sure. Um, who knows, mate? Yeah, I mean, that's... honestly, I, I find things like this. I've never found anything that big, <laughs> but it's been formed, isn't it? Yeah, there's no markings on it that are obvious, and that, yeah, I guess my only guess would be some sort of weight, but. Yeah. Obviously, there's nothing to distinguish what the weight is. Obviously, if you wanted to weigh it against something, unless it was just a very crude, crude way of um, of weighing things, could just be for like weighing seed or grain or something as yeah. well, um, for sure. But that is, yeah, I bet that was one heck of a yeah. signal, almost wasn't it? Blew my ears off. I, I almost left it to be honest, think, thinking it must be a, a massive <laughs> tin can, you know, a few inches down. But um, and then you were like, yeah. oh no, yeah. give yeah. it a go. Figured I better dig it. But yeah, it was uh, that was about six inches six inches down so yeah screamer of a signal well done mate heck yeah, of a weight to some it some nice bits there for sure so yeah just lots of buttons really and uh, other buckles and yeah nice. so i moved into the field that uh, mr tweed has been detecting in this afternoon and i've never ever been in this field before i've been in the field next door and obviously we've been doing the field at the top of the hill but this one never ever been in there lo and behold about five minutes after leaving Mr. Tweed, I go and get a signal. And guess what? It's another silver coin. Now, this obviously isn't a hammered coin or anything like that, but what's quite interesting about this little coin is it's a silver sixpence dated to 1918. And uh, what that obviously means is, is that because it's pre-1920, this will actually be a solid 925 sterling silver sixpence. And it's so cool that it dates to 1918, because if you remember that really nice big um, silver George III coin we had earlier, well, that was dated to 1818. So this is exactly 100 years after that huge George III silver coin was made, um, that this one was minted and they both got lost in kind of the same area. So how cool is that? That is two silver coins for me today. I, I'm gonna be absolutely shocked if I get three. Um, I don't care if they're not hammered, you know, if they're silver coins, a silver coin is a silver coin. So I will go home absolutely over the moon if I get three, but I'm not holding my hopes up. But hey, you never know, stranger things have happened. So I've just had quite an interesting little find here. Now, I don't really know what it is. It's not something that's jumping out at me straight away. Um, however, it does kind of remind me a little bit like a, a leather mount of some kind because on the back, it's got this kind of bar that's sticking out of it. And on the front here, which I have cleaned it up a little bit because obviously it was completely, you know, covered in mud. But yeah, I don't know. I just have no idea what this is. It doesn't resemble a face. It's not sort of zoomorphic in any way, shape or form. Um, it hasn't got like a floral pattern on there. So it's a bit of an odd one, but it's pretty cool. It does look quite old. I mean, this could be anywhere from kind of the medieval period all the way, you know, up until now really, but Ooh, I don't know about this one. I really like the look of it and it could be something that's really, really old. But um, yeah, I'm afraid I just don't know what it is. So I'm going to need your help on this one. If you recognise what this might be or even if you've got any good guesses, then please stick a comment below because I will never probably be able to find out what this is. But I will always be thinking about what this is because it does look really interesting, doesn't it? Okay, so that's pretty much all we've got time for on today's dig. It's about half past five now, and I've been here since half past eight. So we've put in a really, really good shift and we've had some pretty interesting things as well. So this field continues to deliver on amazing, amazing finds. And okay, you know, we didn't get any sort of crucifixes or hammered coins, but I am so chuffed with the things that I found today. And the other guys, you know, they've just found loads, like a handful of amazing bits as well. So there is still 
still stuff in these fields, there is still history to be found and that's what we're going to continue doing. We're going to come back and try and find absolutely everything so that you guys can see it as well. But that leaves me to say thank you very much for watching the video today as always. And guys, do remember if you want to be reminded every time I upload a new one, then you just need to hit that subscribe button below. And if you want to help me out and support the channel and help it grow, then give me a thumbs up as well. I'm off home. I will see you all on the very next video.